Hey, Terry Caliendo, Dedicated Managers, back again. Uh, I recently uh, installed Office 2019 for a local nonprofit, and normally I do a lot of uh, you know programming videos, but this one's going to be more of an installation video just to help other nonprofits that might come across it. Um, if you purchase your uh, Office 2019 from a company called TechSoup, which is where nonprofits can purchase um, software at lowered prices, uh, nonprofit pricing, um, you're probably going to have to install it a new way. Typically in the past, it was easier to install Office when you purchased it, but now Microsoft has pushed down a new way to do it. So the um, it takes a little bit more text savviness where you have to actually do some command line work and open up a, a text prompt and keyboard stuff. It's not just point and click. So I wanted to show this video, which uh, I go through the um, you know, the steps on screen that they have, but I also, you know, it's, it's a video, so a little more talking and helping people through it. There's actually one place where I made a big mistake, um, and the Microsoft error was just horrific that came back. It said I had, um, uh, I was out of hard drive space or I had lost my internet connection, and what it actually turned out to be, the error turned out to be, was that the configuration file um, had the wrong file name. You'll see that in the video, but anyway, the the error that comes back from this tool is, is just um, un, uh, inappropriate. It's offensive, actually, to me. Um, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I wanted to create this video to, uh, to help uh, nonprofits, other nonprofits that might come across these problems, um, uh, get this installed. So here we go. Off to the video. All right, so I've received our uh, donation request, our Microsoft donation request, and we have purchased Office Standard 2019, and you get this email from TechSoup. Um, you know, the email comes from uh, TechSoup Fulfillment here, and you get this big email that's really confusing. And really, you have to go through and you got to do this registration at the Microsoft Volume Licensing Center. So you'll click on this and create an account. Um, that's going to get you into this, the Microsoft Volume Licensing Center. Um, I'm not going to show how to do that here. What I am going to show is how to download and install the software. So this pertains to Office 2019, which has a new difficult, more difficult than the standard way of installing. I had a few issues uh, myself that I had to figure out, and I'm a tech guy, so I just want to do this video to help anybody else out. So basically the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go um, find these instructions. So you'll click on this, which opens a new window. Um, and for me, it opens a new window, and it's how to download and install Microsoft Office 2019. It's a special new way of doing it, and it gives you this laundry list of things you have to do that look incredibly confusing, um, but it's really not that hard. So we'll start walking through that now. The first thing you're going to do is sign into the VLSC, the Volume Licensing Center, which I've already done here. I'm not going to show you my credentials, but this is what it'll look like once you're logged in. And then you're going to go to the Downloads and Keys, and you're going to search for... Uh, you know, just something like 2019, there's Office Standard 2019, and you're going to click on this key over here. And so what we want to end up using is this key um, down here, which you'll only see part of because I'm going to have to blur out both these keys. But this is the key we're looking for down here under the Office Standard 2019. Uh, we'll come back to that, but that's what we're going to be looking for. So that's what they're talking about here. Then the next thing we want to do is download the Office Deployment Tool. Now, I'm going to be deploying remotely over uh, another to another machine. This is a computer right here. I'm remoting into another computer. That's a whole other computer right there that I'm remoting into using this free uh, IT management software called Iteria. And I'm, I'm to IT support for, for the local nonprofit Foster Kinship, and this is how I support them remotely. Um, so this is my Iterian interface, and this is all of their computers, and I can just access any one of them uh, by clicking to, um, you know, clicking on it and then choosing to uh, remote control it. So that's what I'm doing here is I am remotely controlling that computer. So I'm going to open up um, Chrome on that computer, and then I'm going to go back to my instructions here, and I'm going to copy the link for the deployment tool. So I'll right-click and choose Copy Link. I'm going to go back to the tool to the other machine here, and I can just paste that in, which is nice. Um, you could do all this stuff on the same computer if you logged into your volume licensing on that same computer that you're working on. Um, I'm just kind of, you know, going across computers here, which is easy on uh, Iterian. So I'm going to click to download that file. Um, it should start automatically, and there it is starting automatically. Um, and uh, it has fully downloaded, so I'm going to click on the down arrow. This is in Chrome. Internet Explorer will be a little different, but ultimately, 
you want to find that file it's probably going to be in your downloads folder so here's the downloads folder and we're looking for this office one um, that was just downloaded and now the next thing they want us to do is they want us to create under the C drive they want us to create an office setup files so this isn't a huge requirement but if you're going to follow the instructions to a T that's that's the way to do it so I under the this PC under C I'm going to right click and choose open a new window which is going to give me a new um, a new window there you notice I'm on the C drive I'm at the C level so I'm going to make a new folder I don't know why this always takes forever on the first time on a machine um, office setup files and really the name of that directory shouldn't matter but again if we're going to follow things to a T now I'm going to run this this um, uh, the executable that we just downloaded I'm going to accept the terms I'm sure you're going to read all that stuff and now we're going to find where to ex where do you want to extract the files to we're going to go to that C drive and find that office setup files that we just found click OK and so it's going to extract and show all those files um, where we just were um, so back to here um, it's going to say that you know that um, your new office files should have a file named setup.exe and some other sample configuration files that end in XML. Delete the, delete the XML files and keep the setup.exe. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete these other XML files. So they're gone. I'm keeping the setup file. The, the extensions are not shown on this computer, so it just shows setup. And that actually caused me an issue that I'll show in a second. Uh, hopefully that same issue will present itself. So now you're going to come and find these configuration files. So you have to download and prepare this configuration file that you're going to put in that same directory. Um, I'm doing Office Standard 2019, so this is the file I want. 64-bit is most likely what you're going to be downloading. Most machines these days are not 32-bit. Almost every um, Windows 10 machine should be 64-bit these days. So we'll copy that link address. Um, and I will come back to the browser here, and I will paste it and it is going to automatically download an XML file which I could go click here and click show in folder but it's coming to my downloads folder um, I'm just going to get this out of the way so here's that configuration file in my downloads folder I'm going to drag this over into my setup files that's on the C drive and then the last thing they want you to do after you download it is to um, somewhere they tell you to download it and save um, you know save it there but ultimately they want you to save it um, configuration.xml to work with their command so I'm just going to rename this I'm going a little out of their order from what they do so if I do this and rename it configuration XML, I've just caused a problem because this this thing is not showing the extension so I just rename this thing configuration XML .xml. there's going to be two XMLs I'll show that in a second um, but anyway, I've got that in there. Now I'm going to right click and choose edit. And this is where we need to get the product key from the volume licensing center. So that's what they're telling you to do here is to right click and choose edit and change that product key. So I'm going to go to my licensing center. Um, this is where we went and found the office standard 2019. I'm going to copy that my key, which is half blurred out for you. And then I'm going to paste it in here. Uh, which should be half blurred out for you because I'm not going to show you my key obviously I'm gonna hit control s to save the file or you can click file save and that's it We're done with this file. We can close it So now you've got your um, your key in there for this setup file to work on with the XML the, the configuration So the next thing they're going to tell you to do is to in this top thing up here type CMD which is going to open a command prompt So I'm going back to that machine here. So I'm just going to click up here. This is a cool little trick I didn't know you could do this it opens a command prompt in in the directory that's what I didn't know is that it could open in that directory so if I type dir I'm seeing the files uh, setup.exe and configuration.xml now this is where the problem occurs is that I've added this extra .xml without realizing it um, configuration.xml.xml so when I copy their uh, setup code they want us to take this line here and I'm going to copy it and they want us to paste that into here then I'm going to right click and that automatically pastes it in this window here so now if I try and run this I'm going to get this weird error that this is where it took me 45 minutes to figure out what was happening we're sorry we had a problem installing your office program is your internet connection working 
you have enough free space on your hard drive. This, this, has, this makes no sense because it's a brand new computer with a giant hard drive and my internet connection is obviously working because I'm working remotely over the internet. So what it is, is it's a terrible error message that's saying I can't find the configuration file. And that's because uh, the, the configuration file I'm trying to load is not the right configuration file. I'm trying to load this, but the real file name has an extra XML on it. So I either need to rename this to, re to remove the XML or just correct the, um, the, the name of the file to be the actual file name. In this case, it's configuration.xml.xml. And so now that should work because I'm referring to the correct configuration file, which is this file. Um, so I'm going to hit enter there. And now you're, I'm not going to see anything pop up. I'm not going to see any issues. That's because it's actually silently working. And so this folder here is silently getting filled up um, with download files. And so if I right click and choose properties, um, you'll see that it's, 714, 724 kilobytes. Um, and if I keep doing that, uh, sooner or later, there it is. It's, it's starting to show that something's happening. It's, it just put a file container on there to take up 100 megabytes of space. And um, so I can see that something's happening. It's starting to download. I'll do it one more time. And now we can see, you know, it's, it's chunking 300 megabytes and then saving it to, to, to the actual file. So this is the size on disk it's holding and then it's putting the, downloading the files into there. So you can see this change each time I right click and choose properties that something's happening. And what that's doing is that's downloading Microsoft Office to this computer here. So I'm gonna take a break here and I'll come back and finish this video up once that, um, once that has completed. All right, so here we are back on the machine. It has finished downloading. Um, and I know that because if I right click on this, well, I know that because the, I got the command prompt back, but I can see that there's about two megabytes downloaded um, and I got the command prompt done back. I didn't press anything and I, now I've got a blinking cursor again. So that means it finished what it needed to do. So now the last step, um, well, the second, last major step is to do this um, configure. So we're going to set up slash configure configuration.xml. So I'm going to go back to that machine and I'm going to do setup configure. Now remember, if I do this, it's not going to work because I'm referring to the wrong file name. I'm, this is pulling in a file and it needs to be this file, which is actually named configuration xml.xml in my case. So if I hit tab, um, you know, it's, it, the command prompt is smart enough that um, since there's only one file starting with, with c-o-n-f-i-g-u-r-a-t-i, if I hit tab, it finishes it for me. So that's how I know that that's the actual, that's how I actually discovered it. Um, cause I, I finally manually typed it and hit tab because I was lazy and it did the xml.xml and I realized, oh yeah, I did it, made a mistake over here. So that's probably the biggest gotcha that's going to get people. Um, so I am going to click on that window, click enter. All right. And so now it's trying to run the installer. It's, um, so I'm administrator, so I can say yes to that. You might have to, might ask you if you're not the administrator to, um, enter the administrator's password. And so now it's installing. So it's going to take all these files from this in here and it's going to install it on the machine and actually install it using the, um, the key that you entered. And uh, it should pretty much be done from there. So that, that's the end of the instructions here. So that's pretty much the end here. Uh, there's only one more thing that I'll show in a second is you actually have to run it and click to, once you first run it, you have to click to accept the, you know, the, the remote key installation. Um, so we'll get to that in, in a bit when this finishes. All right. So we're back. It finished up. Um, it's all installed now. You're all set. Office is now installed. So it finished up, did it what it needed to do. I click close. I can now close out of all these windows. Um, and I'm just going to quickly run Microsoft Word and you'll see that it needs to do one more step as it needs to. I want to activate the software over the internet. It's the activation wizard. Um, this is taking that key that you installed and now it's, it's going off to Microsoft and, and, um, and activating it. So that's it. Now I can use Microsoft Word and we are good to go. All right, if you made it this far, hopefully you've got a fresh copy of Office 2019 installed on your computer. If you have any questions about the install or maybe that uh, management software that I was showing, Iterian, in the beginning of the video, throw something in the comments and I'll be get back to you. I'll answer that up. Give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that.
always helps with the ratings. And please subscribe to get more videos and help boost our ratings. And if you need any help with any technology, check out dedicatedmanagers.com, the website that I just brought on screen through the magic of editing. And I guess that's it. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.